Prime Minister, uh, it's really a pleasure for me to welcome you again uh, in, uh, in Brussels uh, uh, for our third meeting of the EU-Georgia Association Council, but most of all for your first visit to uh, Brussels uh, after uh, the elections, of, um, after having formed uh, a government. Um, let me say that uh, uh, we value uh, and we appreciate uh, the symbolic but important political gesture uh, of your decision uh, together with the government uh, to uh, come to Brussels as the first visit outside of Georgia uh, after um, your uh, formation of the government. Uh, this is uh, a clear indication of uh, um, the strong commitment uh, on your side and be sure also on our side in uh, um, our partnership, uh, in our friendship and in our common work. Uh, our uh, relationship is strong, our partnership is uh, excellent uh, and during the Association Council uh, we have uh, had uh, the opportunity to um, review uh, the um, state of play of the implementation of our Association Agreement. Uh, it's only been uh, five months uh, since uh, the Association Agreement fully entered into force, that was last July. And uh, I can say that uh, we have uh, exchanged uh, on uh, enormous progress uh, that was made in all fields, from the political uh, to the economic and trade uh, part of it, uh, to the, our cooperation on foreign and uh, security policy and the excellent work we do together with the foreign minister also. So uh, I can say that uh, it's clear we share common values. It's also sh clear we share a common agenda, uh, a common uh, interest and common commitments um, to making this partnership even stronger in the coming months and years. We're both committed to continue Georgia's political association and economic integration with the European Union. Uh, we also uh, discussed the very important uh, economic uh, agenda of the government that has our full support. Uh, we also discussed the outcome of the recent parliamentary elections uh, in Georgia, which were competitive. We agreed on the need to guarantee an inclusive political environment and promote um, a system based on freedom of media, pluralism, respect for the rule of law and judicial independence. Uh, and we will continue to support this, both on your political political inclusive agenda and on the impressive economic reform agenda uh, you um, have started and uh, that with the large uh, majority the government uh, uh, has in Parliament can be for sure um, be uh, realised. Uh, we have published recently the joint uh, report uh, uh, just a few days ago on the very significant, very positive progress in the implementation of the association uh, agenda. Uh, we also discussed another important issue, I uh, would just like to mention our firm continued support for the territorial integrity of the country, as well as our commitment to peace, stability and conflict resolution. Uh, we had with us the EU special representative uh, that is working uh, daily uh, on, uh, on this and uh, also our continued uh, commitment through our European Union monitoring mission in this respect. I would like to end, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, mentioning two uh, points uh, that I know are very uh, important uh, for, um, for your country, for your people. Uh, first of all, visa liberalization. Uh, let me uh, state very clearly, as I have done before, and as I know President Tusk mentioned uh, yesterday as well with the press, Georgia has met all the benchmarks, and we are, and I am personally looking forward to the Council and the European Parliament to uh, finalise this procedure so that Georgian citizens can have uh, visa liberalisation in place as soon as possible. This is now our responsibility and we're working hard on that. Second, um, we have discussed on this, but I think it is important to highlight publicly the results, impressive results we have had since the provisional application of the um, DSFTA, our free trade agreement. We've seen very positive trends in trade between Georgia and the European Union. I believe this is a good success story uh, for our people, uh, both in Georgia and in the European Union, and I would like to congratulate ourselves uh, in making this uh, a success, an initial success that can grow even uh, bigger and more positive for our people, our businesses. So 
Mr. Prime Minister, um, ministers, uh, we are looking all forward uh, to working with you, uh, taking our uh, very ambitious, important agenda forward uh, in the next uh, months uh, and years, uh, and uh, uh, thanking you uh, again uh, for an excellent uh, Association Council and an excellent work we are doing together. Thank you. Uh, I would like to thank European Union and personally High Representative Mogherini for this very warm welcome. We had focused discussions of topical issues of our very rich cooperation agenda and the fact that this visit takes place right after the elections as a first foreign visit for newly approved Georgian government underlines commitment of Georgian government towards European integration goals. Georgia remains committed to far-reaching political association and economic integration with the EU through the full-scale implementation of the association agreement, which entered into force in July, and today's association council marks the first high-level institutional meeting since the milestone development. We welcome the first association implementation report on Georgia, which assesses the substantial progress made by Georgia towards political association and economic integration with European Union. The comprehensive approximation with the EU norms and standards brings tangible benefits to our citizens. Trade with the EU is increasing and more Georgian products access the EU markets. Business contacts are expanding and we see more EU companies investing in Georgia. The number of Georgian students seeking education opportunities is increasing and links with the EU academic area are strengthening. We are confident that these benefits will only grow as we go along this path with the firm intention to further consolidating democracy and rule of law protecting human rights, developing stronger and accountable institutions, ensuring economic growth and modernization, promoting investment and jobs, as well as developing better interconnections and enhancing Georgia's strategic potential. We had a very good exchange of views with High Representative on how to make the best of the association process. We presented several ideas and initiatives to this end and look forward to continue working with the EU to translate our vision into concrete actions. I would like to thank the EU for its lasting support and solid assistance for our reform endeavors, which has been critical in meeting the shared objectives of the association process. We noted the importance of timely finalization of decision-making procedures in the EU regarding visa liberalization for Georgia. This is one of the key immediate material benefits and incentives of European integration, which our citizens look forward. We are aware of the efforts of high representative and our friends in Brussels to close this issue and to speed up the decision-making process over this issue, and we are very optimistic about making this decision in the nearest future. At the Association Council meeting, we discussed security issues, namely how to better exploit the existing instruments to ensure peaceful resolution of conflict in Georgia. We gave an update of the severe security and humanitarian situation in the occupied territories of Georgia as a result of Russia's expansionist policy and restriction of freedom of movement, the practice of kidnapping and illegal detention along the occupation line have become a regular exercise, which impede our efforts to build contacts between conflict-affected communities across the occupation lines. The European Union continues to play a critical role in maintaining peace and stability in Georgia through EU monitoring mission, as well as its active mediation within the Geneva International Discussions, engagement and non-recognition policies. We value the EU's unwavering support for territorial integrity of Georgia within its internationally recognized borders. On our part, I want to reaffirm that Georgia remains a reliable security partner to the EU 
we continue participation in the EU crisis management operations and are ready to develop our cooperation further in order to effectively address the common security challenges. Thank you very much.